Well, I have a wonderful electronic invention I want you to see. see, see. It, it looks something like this. What is up guys, Julian Mikkel here of Social Vignerons. Welcome back to another wine video. This is episode number three of Julian's three and a half minute wine school. This series where we share and explore the wonderful world of wine together and where I intend to share everything that I know about wine. So yesterday we looked at how to open a bottle of wine with a regular uh, corkscrew. So if you haven't watched episode number two, I will link to it uh, right here and episode number one was about how to taste wine different phases of tasting wine so exploring step by step simple things initially before we go a little bit deeper into wine regions and grape varieties so you can soon become a pro and expert about wine if you follow along this journey so today we are going to be looking at the second step of uh, before you taste your wine how to pour your wine a little bit better in kind of a bit of a classier more confident way than what you've perhaps been doing so far so first off once your bottle is uncorked how do you hold the bottle for pouring it well you don't want to be holding it from the top because this looks a little bit casual not very very classy you want to be holding it from the base from the bottom this gives you a strong confident grip on the bottle of wine normally you would want to be exposing fully the label of the of the wine as well to your guests so everyone can see what you're going to be pouring it does look a bit classier than if you're just holding it like this as well doesn't it when you are going to be pouring you want to be pouring with a regular flow and a confident flow the most important part here and you've probably understood this is the confidence that you're going to put especially around cutting the flow when you are going to be cutting the flow you want to be firm strong and rather quick and you want to be twisting the bottle slightly this will allow for the drop to flow around the bottle rather than down on the bottle and down on the table so this should allow you to avoid staining your bottle of wine so but at the end of the day it doesn't have to be super complicated you just have to practice a little bit and just be confident and know these few tricks and tips that I'm giving you right now so you just start pouring nice and regular flow once you're done just cut it and twist the bottle grab a tissue or a napkin and uh, you just clean the drop of wine that may fall onto your wine and that's pretty much it really uh, so just remember to cut the flow of wine rather quickly let's do it again and twist your bottle of wine and then you just wipe it uh, with your cloth and uh, that's just about it really um, there is an accessory that I wanted to show you uh, this is called a drop stop uh, this one is made by Poltex uh, but anyone any good wine shop should have some of those for very very cheap just one dollar just a few dollars you they might even give them away for free if they're branded so that it's a bit of advertising for them those are really really handy you just put them on the bottle just this way and it gives you a bit of a tube for pouring and this just solves all your problems and this just accepts for splashing but this just allows you to pour your wine with a classy classy way and there is no absolutely no drop whatsoever here anyways that was how to pour your wine a little bit better i'm not a sommelier so i'm not um i'm not absolutely perfect with these things I do as you've seen need to practice a little bit more but at least you know now the tips and tricks on how to do it a little bit better I hope you enjoyed this video tomorrow we'll be looking at how much wine you should be pouring when you pour a glass of wine is it more around this quantity or is it a more more about around this one that's really if you want a big glass of wine but if for tasting which one is going to be better what is the standard drink what is the standard serve of wine we will be looking at this hopefully tomorrow if not the day after so stay tuned to the channel for this i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you soon in the world of wine
you talk to them in regular manner, once you reach the level that you... Uh, that's definitely not the way you should be doing it. So let's try again with Russell 1-1. 